can you continue? Yes, you can continue. Yeah. Okay, so welcome back. Good evening. So, continuing about the theme, pursuit of happiness. Like I first mentioned, happiness really is like a state of mind. So, don't you think it's about how well we are able to convince our minds about uh, adapting to the situation and convincing? that we need to stay uh, positive and happy. Our mind really is a re uh, powerful tool. So when we make the right use, we'll be able to solve quite a lot of problems using. Now, telling that about convincing mind, some of you might think, what is he telling? Convincing the mind and making it happy. It's like telling an asthma patient, there is so much of air around, why can't we just breathe? No, but uh, the mind, when convinced, uh, the mind uh, is what really uh, needs to be in our control at all times. And with that, uh, like as mentioned, we will be able to solve quite a lot of problems. And at most situations, happiness really is a choice. So let's choose happiness. Let's all celebrate even the smallest incidents. Rather than just setting big goals, let's also celebrate small ones. Like not just aiming, say, if you have the final exam and being happy if you score well only in that. And that we can also uh, celebrate and uh, encourage and motivate ourselves if we uh, perform. Well, in a class test, when we put the hard work and when we get the actual results, let's also bring ourselves up in that way. So now about the uh, moving on to the next session, which is the evaluation session. Uh, in this evaluation session, uh, the speech evaluator uh, uh, will give the a report about the speaker's speech will tell about if the objectives have been met. And then after that, uh, there will also be the general evaluator. So uh, now I'd like to call upon the, the general evaluator uh, to continue. Over to you, uh, general evaluator. Yeah, thank you, uh, Toastmaster Abhay. Uh, before we dive deep into the uh, Overall uh, evaluations, I would like to call upon Taos Master Viraj to uh, give a give a, a strong evaluation on Nandan. Over oh, to you, Hello, everybody. Thank you, Taos Master Arthada. So, Nandan, what a fabulous speech, I must say. Everyone, virtual uh, round of applause for Nandan. This speech, and then your speech, volunteering and community engagement. You have chosen a very great topic and your content was also very good. The way you structured it from starting or from beginning, body conclusion, that was also fabulous. You you went with the flow. You had a flow. You engaged all of us. You had audience engagement also. That was a great part of your speech. You kept the audience intact with you. Now, Talking about uh, start introduction, you started with so. Uh, so is not a great uh, way to start your speech. Maybe you can use a phrase or uh, some a line which will attract the people. Telling that so I'm Nandan is not a good way of starting the uh, uh, speech. So you can improve on that. Second thing is okay, your topic, huh? volunteering and community engagement. You told about how you uh, you gave your speech with an example. This was relating to you. You gave your example how you uh, engaged in volunteering and how it helped yourself also and the others to make a place uh, to make a better place. So your topic, I must say, I personally liked it very much. 
And secondly, I would like to ask you one thing. Uh, when you got distracted, when you saw about doing something on a laptop, were you scrolling the slides of your speech? Uh, actually, during that time, uh, this uh, notification came on the onto the screen. Okay, I guess it came twice then. Maybe it was a WhatsApp notification suddenly came. So for to cut that, I okay, okay. Uh, so just make sure that you avoid all this distraction, and because you yourself get distracted, the audience also gets distracted. Uh, so make sure of that point. Okay. Uh, lastly, your conclusion. You had a great conclusion. Initially, I thought uh, you were concluding very uh, roughly. Then you continued your speech. Maybe you can improve on your conclusion because uh, initially you said thank you. Then after that, you had one more paragraph to tell. So maybe you can reverse the order. And the last line should be of thanking you. You put it before that. So, but the conclusion still, it was uh, going in line with your content. And I must say, you uh, successfully achieve the purpose of your project by telling uh, having purpose of the speech and present uh, and you present it in a well organized manner so kudos to toastmaster and back to toastmaster oh sorry uh, general evaluator toastmaster Adhita. thank you toastmaster viraj again uh, toastmaster nandan uh, also the the good aspect of it, it was your moist validation was on was really good and it was a huge improvement before i saw you in the meeting and now right now so kudos on that uh, there was a small uh, annotation which you could make in further that to switch on your camera uh, before you start to talk so that uh, people over there can know your presence all right uh, also, uh, you as uh, now uh, I have my tag team to tell uh, my tag team to tell you more about the uh, the stuff which you could have improved upon. Also, uh, yeah. So let's uh, first go with the timer. Was Master Anju? I I guess you have to start with the. Uh, I'll counter the grammarian because I'm supposed to time them. Our counter will be first. Yeah, it should be the R counter. The first. grammarian and R counter timer. So while introduction, it's tag. While uh, evaluation, it's GAT. Grammarian, R counter, okay. and timer. Thank you. And sorry about that. So uh, moving on with the grammarian, uh, Toastmaster Aditya. Uh, thank you. For a grammarian, usage of good language makes him happy. And uh, as a grammarian, I was in pursuit of happiness. So I think I have found that because a lot of good usages today. I really appreciate that. Coming to the congratulating part, mm -hmm. I would like to congratulate the people who used the word of the day, intricate. Uh, it was Toastmaster Nikhil, Toastmaster Viraj, and Toastmaster Angelina. So I'd like to clap. I don't know if it's heard. OK, that's my clap. Coming to the good usages. Firstly, the essay, he used the word kudos. Uh, president, presiding officer, use the phrase with that out of the way. And coming to the team mode, uh, nostalgia uh, word was used. And pursuit of happiness was the beautiful title of uh, the TMOD. Timer. Uh, use a lot of uh, good usages like nurturing relationships in the intro part. Quest for happiness, embark and digest the topic. Toastmaster Nandan used a beautiful phrase, two-way street, and also used astounding ripple effects, spiritual pursuits. It's not about how much we have, but how much we can give and compassionate. The table topic master used wolf that travels with a pack as an intro struck a chord in my heart with great power comes great responsibility toastmaster Dux used the phrase right off the bat toastmaster pranav used the word exquisite toastmaster arpita used notorious criticism and mental asylum coming to the not so good usages before the contest actually start it should be before the contest actually starts i'll tell about the session later 
should have been i'll talk about the session uh, later can i be seen should have been am i seen even as a student should have been even even as a student should have been even as a student it strike a chord in my heart should have been it struck a chord in my heart if i was a bill gates should have been if i was bill gates orphanage people that sounds wrong it should have been orphan people strong evaluation on nandan should have been strong evaluation of nandan so these were my feedbacks and in order to improve your not so good usages i would like you all i would recommend you to practice this speech if you are a speaker uh, beforehand so that you can reduce the not so good usages because nowadays we have grammarly quill but lot of stuff so you can make use of those even chat gpt so just make use of those and be prepared and uh, hope to get a better better report for the next time thank you go to the general evaluator thank you toastmaster aditya and also thank you for suggesting a lot uh, suggesting some points uh, also now moving on to the r counter toastmaster tapan hello friends i am back with my report i couldn't because of this wifi problem i couldn't do this in my room i came to nandan's room but i did not miss anyone's speech coming to the report toastmaster abai there are few pauses in your speech speech aditya meti there uh, is while giving introduction you made few repeats viraj viraj and arpita both had few pauses while giving speeches nandan had some crutch words while telling table topic table topic even i gave table topic i used i had some crutch words while giving the speech apart from this remaining people angelina nikhil daksh pranav there are no pauses or uh, crutch words in your speeches thank you over over to toastmaster arpita Postmaster because uh, internet is not open, so timer please continue. Thank you, Postmaster Abhay. Uh, happiness is not having more time; it's making the most of the time you have with you at the moment. With that being said, let's get into the evaluation segment. A first section is the prepared speeches, and I believe we had only one speaker today. That is Postmaster Nandan. The duration of his speech was supposed to be from five to seven minutes, but uh, the duration that he took was four minutes and fifty-eight seconds. Just two seconds missed for the green card to appear. You might want to retime uh, and work on your script again. So, next comes the table topic session. Toastmaster Daksh, uh, this was for two minutes, and Toastmaster Daksh spoke for one minute forty-nine seconds. Toastmaster Pranav spoke for two minutes twenty-one seconds. Toastmaster Nandan spoke for one minute eight seconds. Toastmaster Ab Arpita spoke for one minute fifty-two seconds. Toastmaster Tapan spoke for fifty-four seconds. Didn't quite meet the uh, minimum margin there. You might want to work on that. Toastmaster Aditya Meti one minute thirty seconds. Mm -hmm. Then coming to the evaluation segment. Toastmaster Viraj took three minutes two seconds. Toastmaster Aditya took two minutes fifty-seven seconds, and Toastmaster Tapan once again uh, just took fifty-three seconds. Again, didn't meet the bar for the green card to come up bar, so you have to work on uh, timing your script once again. And last but not the least, let me get to the general flow of the meeting. Initially, uh, I, I was told to time each and every per, uh, person apart from the speaker as well. So here goes: the SAA was supposed to take three minutes. He took three minutes thirty seconds. Correctly, you have used the buffer time. I think you uh, just escaped. For the presiding officer, initially four minutes. Uh, Toastmaster Daksh, you were supposed to use four minutes. You have used three minutes five seconds. Dear Modi, in your first time of speaking, uh, it was supposed to be five minutes. You have taken seven minutes. You have extended on the same. You have to work on timing your script again. General evaluator Toastmaster Abhita. It's supposed to take two minutes. She took one minute thirty-four seconds. Our counter to us, Master Tapan, was supposed to take one minute. He took one minute twenty seconds. Still within the time. Don't worry. 
the grammarian toastmaster arthi was supposed to take 2 minutes he took 1 minute 15 seconds again the second time when the tmod appeared where he was supposed to take 2 minutes uh, toastmaster abai has taken 1 minute 40 seconds then during the speech evaluator once introduction where 1 minute was supposed to be taken by toastmaster viraj he took 50 seconds and when it comes to the table topic session where it was 10 minutes allotted for the entire session to take place i have divided into two categories one which was taken by the speakers and one taken by the table topic master by himself so approximately the table topic master toastmaster nikhil took 6 minutes and when it comes to the speakers it was totally 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 approximately 8 minutes so let's say 15 minutes so still not within time uh, when both are put together so that's something that you guys have to work on now coming to the suggestions that i have with every evaluation come points of improvement so let's get back to the drawing board first thing create an outline of your speech it's always good to structure your speech and to time it well so that you know what must be told at each and every point so you don't tell too much or too less second time your script as you make it and even when you say it as well next when it comes to the color coding how i would suggest you guys to speak when you're giving your speech is that when the green card comes finish your introduction and your body by the time the yellow card comes finish the examples that support your uh, body and your introduction that you have given based on your speech title and by the time the red card comes wrap it up fourth point speak at least till the yellow card in that way the audience will have some content to immerse themselves into and then they will also uh, the speech evaluators will also have more content to assist on fifth point try not to use the entire buffer time because it's kind of risky last but not the least there should be a second timer especially when the timer wants to participate let's say in the table topic session or maybe when uh, he or she is giving that evaluation it's good to know uh, that they're being timed so that timer can also improve as well with that being said thank you toastmasters Hello, Anjali. Uh, thank you, Anjali. Now uh, again, uh, my, am I audible? Thank you. So moving on with the overall uh, evaluation, uh, the time constraint again. Uh, we started at four forty, where it should be started at four thirty. So ten minutes of buffer, not a problem. Also with the introduction, introduction of uh, the theme, uh, it did uh, did go well, and also. Uh, Toastmaster Abhay, you spoke really well about the introduction and also uh, letting the people know and get the vibes. Of, you know what is the theme actually about. Also, uh, you, I think you got flustered in my middle and you by mistake uh, introduced the speech evaluator before evaluating the general evaluator. Sorry, before calling up the general evaluator. That's okay. Uh, make sure you don't do it next time. Also, yeah. uh coming to the tag team okay the tag team was really good with uh stuff well our counter tapan could have uh asked people if they his audible or not before speaking uh and also coming to my evaluation again cuz i would like to evaluate myself also i could have uh gone up with uh more of my uh internet rather than exiting and coming back again also uh, going up with the table topic session uh, overall it, everyone spoke well and also uh, toastmaster nikhilesh really good topics and well with that being said uh, thank you and over to you toastmaster uh, abhay thank you toastmaster nikhilesh for the general evaluation now uh, for the conclusion of the team like i already mentioned uh, happiness is what we choose to at times when we learn to enjoy the things and keep a positive thought at all situations there won't be uh, many problems or even if there are <clears throat> we'll be able to solve it so with that being said uh, over to you presiding officer 
Uh, good evening, guys. I hope I'm audible and visible. All right, great. So I'm back once again at the end of the meeting. A huge thank you to the TMOD Toastmaster Vinod for guiding us through what it is really mean for the pursuit of happiness. It was really great listening to you. And like, you know, you really did answer a lot of our questions. And uh, before I move on, I just want to quickly mention the general evaluator needs to share the voting link. So while we give her the time to do that, I would like once again request maybe Toastmaster. OK, Toastmaster Harsha is not here. That's all right. I was about to ask her to like come and give us some feedback. But since she's not here, is there anyone else who would like to give any sort of feedback? It can be anyone. It can be a feedback about anything. If you have any doubts, you can ask those also. So while the general event does that, we'll just wait for that. Any feedbacks or any requests? Because I have a few things anyway to talk about. OK, uh, nothing. I have one suggestion. Oh, OK, please go on. It's for a table topic session. I believe let them have 15 minutes instead of 10 minutes because even the table topic master has to speak something about the theme. He should also enumerate on that. And also there will be this buffer time wherein people will come and go. They might not listen to what they're telling. So at least if we keep 15 minutes, it'll be easier for the uh, table topic master as well as the speakers. And uh, like I mentioned, the, another additional <laughs> timer. So okay, that's pretty much so it. regarding that uh, I'll come to the additional time part later. I'll just mention about the timing. So the thing is the agenda that we share is fully fixed. All right, so it is not something that has to be particularly followed. It is just a general timing limit that has been given for each and every role. The only people who really have to follow that is the TMOD and at the beginning the general evaluator, right? Because we want to make sure that the beginning of the meeting goes smoothly. So when it says that the SAE should come and start the meeting and like the three minute time is given. It doesn't mean that they have to speak for three minutes. It means that anywhere within three minutes, the SAE has to wrap up. The presiding officer has to speak for four minutes. Again, that within four minutes, it has to be wrapped up because the presiding officer, usually that what he or she does is they open the meeting and they make the announcements. Now, obviously, every meeting will not have 10 announcements. Some of them may. Some That's... of them may only have one or two announcements. So the timing that has been given for these roles is just a very vague timing so that, you know, they know what to do. Like, for example, if someone has not been, let's say, a presiding officer before or a TMOD before, they'll have a general idea of how a meeting is supposed to go. Now coming to the TMOD, the timing that like at the beginning he should speak, he or she should speak for four minutes and then call the general evaluator. So those things are fixed. Those things are meant to be followed because they come within the timing range. So stuff like SA, table topic session, presiding officer, the last general level report, these things, they don't really have a fixed time. They can take how much of a time. It depends on the meeting. The presiding officer may have some things to address at the beginning or at the end, like how I am right now. Usually the presiding officer doesn't do this, but since we are waiting for the general level to share the link, we are talking about this. So these things are very arbitrary. Uh, TMOD, speakers, evaluators, the table topics, the uh, speakers, these things have their specific times. So the 15 minutes that is huh? Please continue. D Daksh. Uh -huh. Yeah, can't you consider my speech two seconds delay? Uh, see, uh, the thing is that is not under my control. That depends on the general evaluator. So if she wishes. Arthita. Arthita. Yeah. So, Toastmaster Arthita. Uh, uh, I'll let hold on. What I'm going to tell you is that she may or may not include you in the voting, but that does not mean that voting, you think OK level level. Yeah, so OK, so if you're talking about voting, that goes to general evaluator whether she wants to include you in that. When it comes to you finishing the project that is in the control of your speech evaluator. So okay. it's I guess it was Toastmaster Viraj who was evaluating you, so it's under his control whether he wants to accept or reject the speech. You can like have a talk with him later on. Yeah, technically a two second delay shouldn't make that much of a difference, but it really depends on the evaluator. I mean, Toastmaster Aditya will have a lot of experience in this, so you can talk to him also. <laughs> yeah, bro. Totally. Oh, so yeah, uh, coming to Aditya, Angina, the second consider? question regarding a second yeah. timer, uh, we can have a volunteer do that. We need not have a dedicated timer, second timer for it, but yeah, a volunteer will always be present. So you will notice that in offline meetings, if a timer really wants to speak, uh, he or she can ask someone to volunteer. 
on like a volunteer can step up so that option is always available it's just that in online meetings a little it's a little more difficult because people don't have the cards with them like i have the cards because i have been a timer before but many people won't but in an offline meeting you can just give the cards to them so it's a little bit difficult we'll try to keep that arrange that in the next meeting we'll try to keep them in the chat or something uh, okay uh, sure no problem Okay, I guess Toastmaster with uh, is having some issues, I guess. Okay, so I guess Toastmaster Arpita is having a few issues. I'll quickly make up the form link in that case. Meanwhile, like if anyone has any other doubts or questions that can feel free to ask. Um, Toastmaster Angelina, can you just share the list of all the table topic speakers in the chat? Sure, I can do that. Okay, never mind. I think uh, Toastmaster Arpita has shared a forms link. So that's oh, fine. All right. Thank you.
guys uh, just go ahead and vote in the link also while that is happening uh, if anyone else has any questions regarding contests also because this might be the first contest for many people. So if you have any questions regarding that, yeah, feel free to ask. Also, uh, Toastmaster Arpita, if you're here, you have forgotten to include the best of speech evaluator oh, in the sorry, list. Sorry. And the table topic master was Toastmaster Nikhil, not Nikhilesh. Oh, so uh, can you just quickly make that change? Yeah, also, sure. coming back to the essays, three golden rules, we need to make sure about the language that we use in a meeting. Yeah, being a presiding officer is a big pain, isn't it? Just let us know when the changes have been made. Yeah. That means you have to vote again, right? Also, yeah. my name okay. is in not my name is not there in table topics week. Okay, yeah. That also How about works. I just uh, tell once so that it'd be easier for others to? Yeah, you can just uh, send it in the group chat. Yeah, I'll do that. All the... Fine. So if anyone has already answered, you can clear the responses and uh, we'll vote again. Uh, the link is on. I have sent it again. Uh, great. So I guess everything has been fixed now. So please go ahead and vote all the attendees. Also, Toastmaster Arpita, make sure that we get no more than how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven responses. Okay. Okay. So one final time. One until the this thing is uh, the results are announced any questions also toastmaster help that just uh, send me the screenshot of the result yeah sure How you can yeah 12 votes will be there 12 responses will be there i am also there. telling Has everybody voted Toastmaster Arpita? Can you just quickly confirm if you have got any uh, 11 responses? 
Yeah, I've just received uh, 16 responses till now, but uh, 16. OK, fine. Yeah, I think it's time to just quickly close the link. OK. Yeah, because there were there are only 11 members. So yeah, yeah. this is another problem with the easily. You can just uh, stop accepting the responses and send me the screenshot. Yeah, yeah. did you so. clear the previous responses? Yeah, I did clear the previous responses. Okay, then, then, yeah. Give me a minute. <laughs> Uh, Close master, with are you facing any issues? <laughs> 